All right, buddy, let's go. Let's go for a potty. Want to go potty? You're whining about up there? You want to go potty. Okay, come on, buddy. Come on. And what in the fuck? We got snow, people. Yeah, it's Halloween. We got snow. Jesus, and it's snowing out, too. Look, you can tell, sir. Ah, uh, if it would focus. You can tell. Well, shit, eh? Frig sakes. Bitch of the water in that bucket's probably brick. Hey, where'd my dog go? Yeah. Starting to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> Trying to get this thing to come back. You can see him now. Oh, is he gonna squat a loaf? Go poop. Hey, poop right there. No Oreo. Hey, come on. For sake, sakes, probably see the snow whipping by the lens, maybe. I don't know. Oh, there he goes. Kangaroo up, bud. Oh, look at my cars. Watch tomorrow. By the time I actually do wake up, this will all be gone. I'll be melted. It'd be like nothing happened ever. Maybe. We'll find out. Especially once he's done kangarooing so I can go back to bed, for freak's sakes. Ugh. Puppy had to shit, so he woke me up, right? Because he does that. Freaking guy. Wait, let's go in the house. My poor puppy. He's covered his nose. Well, it's official. North Bay has snow. It won't stick around, but it has snow. I'm going back to bed. Six and a half hours later. Well, yep. Not much has changed, people. My romper snowed in. Rex is shit snowed in. Oh, freak's sakes. You got the dog outside now. Going to the bathroom. Right on. Gloopy. And here people thought I was joking by putting that thing on Facebook. Also, sorry if I look really, really, really tired. It's because I am. Well, it looks like I'm going to be losing plumbing soon in the kitchen. Sorry, people. The plumbing's not done there. And she's going to fail one of these days. Holy son of a bitch is this floor ever cold. Almost cold enough to wear slippers. And I'm not a big fan of wearing slippers. Let me tell you a little something about that. Yeah, I posted a picture on, on Facebook a while back about Halloween. And it's like, uh... Oh. Apologize for that. That one slipped out. Didn't even see that one coming. Wow. That's got a freak. The picture I'm talking about is this one here. It's like, of course we celebrate Halloween in Canada. It's pumpkin inside snow bag. We put on our snowshoes, dress up as polar bears, and go igloo to igloo collecting maple syrup and Canadian bacon. And some people think this shit's funny. Some people. You wouldn't think it was really funny if you were a little kid and you had to trek through freaking ankle deep in snow, trying to get candy at minus seven. See, Scamper's degrees. She just totally yelled down there. She's fucking mad. I also forgot my water downstairs. I need beverage. If you know what I need to do is take a shit. Burb! Holy dick. Something I need to do is shave my head. I don't like it. I'm starting to look pretty stupid again. I kind of feel bad for the kids tonight, you know? Because they're looking forward to going out and collecting all sorts of freaking candies and just rotting their teeth out for Christmas, you know? And now they kind of sort of, they're going to get screwed over on it. Like, they'll still be able to go. It's just, it's going to suck because of all the snow. It's like, it's cold as frig out right now. I can't remember what my phone said the temp was, but I know it's rather unpleasant. Uh, uh, survey says minus one feels like minus seven with light snow. Now here's the big kick in the nuts over this whole ordeal with the snow. It's not gonna stay. Uh, it's supposed to get warm over the weekend sometime I think and then it's gonna frig off. And it does this every year around Halloween and then there's like it snows for a bit and then it stops and then it's like smooth uh, smelling no smooth sailing there we go that's better all the way through until pretty damn close to Christmas then she farts out a bunch more snow so yeah yeah holy shit that video I put up of Cunty the truck driver which is actually part of where is it um this vlog right here called this guy's an arsehole um you guys seen this one already I actually showed the license plate and things only reason why I put up Cunty the truck driver is because he this truck driver drove by the school where I know a lot of my friends go, like Rex's daughter and uh, a couple of people on YouTube that follow me and things that I chat with occasionally on YouTube. And the one kid uh, who saw it went, holy crap, dude, that was me that got wet. So I'm glad I put it up, and I'm glad I got all the information and I was able to help him out. But that's a lot of views. It's a lot more than I normally get on my videos. Like, if you go down here and you look, well, what the video is that? Okay, that's the one that just came out today. The uh, deer in the backyard. Here, let me scroll down a bit. Look, if you look at my videos, they only ever get about a thousand views a pop, right? Sometimes, unless it's a comment down comment video, it doesn't get very well. But only a thousand views. So, for that one video to do 3,300 views, I don't know, that's probably really being shared around. That's pretty awesome. And I hope uh, if anybody had any property damage, because my buddy did, his car got just right friggin' saturated and it smells like a 
Well, it smells like shit, and judging by the weather today, if it wasn't able to dry out, he's gonna have some freaking cold seats to sit on, and that's gonna suck a lot. It's gonna suck a lot. But uh, it is what it is. As for us people, it's almost time to leave. Yup. Gotta go to work. I'm tired. I'm, I'm seriously like super tired. I didn't sleep well last night. I went to bed at, what time was it? Somewhere around 4.30 and uh, got woken up around 7.30 or 7, 7.30, somewhere around there. Oh, by the dog, because he had to go potty. So he came upstairs and woke me up. And uh, oh, I figured out a solution to the cat claw on my feet while I sleep, eh? I just wear these big bastards. Good luck her getting her claws through these. It's all like foam padding and it's a, it's a freaking dog. That and she's super scared of them too, so she leaves them the frig alone. She'll come up on the bed and cuddle up by my face stay the frig away from my feet and not attack them when they're in the dog slippers so that's pretty cool it's a good way to keep her at bay i guess but right now i gotta mix up a bottle of juice before we go off to work so i'm gonna get that going right now what flavors do i have here monster energy drink cheesecake peach okay i'm gonna put the cheesecake and peach back are there any good flavors over here that i can quickly whip up and have a delicious vape for tonight uh what do we got french vanilla no bubble gum I haven't tried bubble gum yet i'm gonna grab the bubble gum yeah we're gonna use just the bubble gum and uh, make some gum juice. That'll be delicious. You know what's awesome about mixing your own juice? Is that I always mix my juice to 10%. Probably saying what the hell you mean by that. I mean my flavoring is 10%. So, whoa, that was weird. So when I make my juice for uh, vaping, if I wanted to use a 100 milliliter bottle, all I have to do is put one third of a flavor bottle into it and I can fart out 100 ml of juice, no problem. Well, that means that a 30 milliliter bottle of flavoring can make 300 milliliters of juice. How awesome is that? So we better get ready to go to work. I'm not gonna wear my winter jacket yet. I'm gonna wear my spring one still because uh, it keeps the cold off you and it's not really cold enough to justify. And they're just, just having a sit. But this guy tomorrow, he's going to a puppy spa. Yeah, mom and dad are gonna swing by, pick him up, take him to the puppy spa. Hey buddy, you gonna go get a haircut, get your nails cut. Get all shampooed and conditioned and look all pretty, probably. And you're gonna be all cut up and your fur's gonna be gone. You're gonna be looking like a fox. And you always go behind me like you wanna freaking attack me. My goodness, this weather sucks. Cool, I'm actually gonna have to clean off my car. This is stopped. Alrighty, car's cleaned off. Frig out of here, go to work, get paid. Got some cool shit to talk about with YouTube too. I'm kind of excited about seeing this news. Oh, yup, oh, indeed. Oh, you're dressed for the weather. Look, you can tell. Uh-oh, retard alert! You can totally tell, dressed for the weather. Jesus. Tank top and yoga pants. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, but anyway, people, as for my talk about YouTube, um, got some exciting information this morning. See, back... Oh, sorry for the window not being cleared, people. But um, YouTube always uploaded and processed any video you sent it 30 frames per second. So if you recorded record with a GoPro, and the GoPro did 60 frames a second, and then you edited it up, and you edited it up 60 frames a second, and you sent that to YouTube, YouTube would take extra long to process it down to 30 frames a second, because that means you're getting half of the frames that you normally would. But some people use 60 frames per second to pull off better slow-mos, because you know when you stretch out a video or make it slower, you're extending the frame duration, so you could actually take a 60 frame per second video, double it, and sl like, uh, slow it down by half speed, and it would look 30 frames per second and clean and pristine, you know? Now when you actually make a video on YouTube, uh, as long as you edit it 60 frames per second, upload it 60 frames per second, YouTube will process that bitch 60 frames per second. Now there's actually some discussion happening questioning if YouTube's processing everything 60 frames per second, regardless if it's a 30 frame per second video, because it wouldn't make any difference. If you, if you process something 60 frames and it was 30 frames, it would still just work the same. It's, I don't know. But I just thought that excites me because when I record on my computer with um, action, I always record 60 frames a second. That means that I gotta modify my template now for Skaven Games to basically edit 60 frames per second and fart out 60 frames per second videos. Because I really, really, really wanna produce some Grand Theft Auto videos that are freaking smoother than jelly, because that'd be awesome. What the fuck is that Jeep behind me doing? My goodness. He was in the guy's lawn, like trying to make the corner. He couldn't wait for me to go through the stop sign. He had to go. I need, I need like a Google camera on the roof of my car that shows everything all around. Oh, I hope that's not too loud for you guys. Just want to get some heat in the car here. I'm going to turn it to the blowers. 
not as loud when I'm doing that, so that's a bonus. Yeah, still haven't fixed that fucking blower motor uh, resistor thingamajig pack. Uh, when I take this car in, I gotta call GM next week there and uh, set up an appointment. And I'll give them a call there, we'll do that. And I'm gonna explain to them, like, yeah, I need the recall work done on the shifter cable because I have those parts and I need the steering motor done. And then while they're at it, I'm gonna have them change out the resistor pack for the, uh, cause they know which one I need and I can't remember. So, it sucks, it's one less video, but honestly, do I wanna be laying upside down in this car doing that kind of work with, uh, you know, the snow? You know what's dick though? That motor blew on me back in like September after I came back from Lokes and I just kept forgetting about it because the only time I remember that I didn't have a blower motor that was you know variable was because like when I went driving and I turned on the fucking heater or the uh, air conditioning. Other than that, I never really cared and I forget the moment I get out of the car. Like when I get home, having variable fan speeds on my car is not a mandatory thing. What's a mandatory thing is getting in the house and getting to the dog before he craps on the carpet. Full power to the accelerators. Oh yeah, listen to that beast take off. So I feel pretty bad for the kids tonight. Saw a bunch of Facebook posts about uh, costumes that kids are wearing and shit. And a lot of them are like, not exactly safe for this weather. They're gonna get frostbite and have a bad time. You don't wanna have a bad time. It's Halloween, you wanna trick or treat, get a lot of candies, especially cause it's on a Friday night. Tomorrow, no schools for the youngins, you know, so they can just go out, trick or treat, and get a whole bunch of candy, go home, put on some scary kids movies and just get right friggin' diabetes up and uh, enjoy some free candy, you know? I used to love it when I was a kid and Halloween fell on a freaking Friday. That was glorious. Okay, I'm gonna turn that down a little bit, cause son of a bitch. That's loud. But um, yeah, really sucks for the kids. But what can you do? And I didn't even dress up today, I'm not even bothering. I was gonna bring my horse mask to work and walk into the customer service area and just freak everyone out. But then I decided to change my mind because, um, no, didn't feel like it, freak it. Well, this bubble gum e-juice is amazing. It's friggin' snowing outside and it isn't even November yet. My biggest joke online was my friend asked, like, is it okay to watch Christmas movies now? And I said, hey, why not? Christmas is already here way before Halloween started, so give her. You know, like shopping centers already selling Christmas trees and decorations and wrapping paper and tape and all that junk. And then you got uh, Dollarama who, who had freaking Christmas shit out, like, long freaking time ago. Like, I think summer was still here. Halloween wasn't even started, not even considered. Well, at least the roads aren't slippery. This is the reason why they're making a giant highway to blast right through North Bay. Because uh, people like this President's Choice truck and this guy holding a bunch of, I don't know what the frig he's got in there. Maybe that's insulation. I don't know what that is. But it's like really big boxes that are strapped to his trailer. You know, these people here, they come to North Bay and sometimes, like especially this time of day, my goodness, it's an ordeal for them. All the city residents are like going between work and home and all that and doing the running around. And um, yeah, it can be kind of menacing for the poor uh, transport drivers. So yeah, they're gonna blow a highway straight through North Bay. And I don't know when that's gonna happen, but uh, that's the battle plan. God knows when they're gonna finish it or even start it for that matter. They might not even get it done by the time I lose my job and things, you know. Oh, frig. So I found out what the heck happened with that friggin' Cunty the Truck Driver video. Apparently it got posted to a website for truckers. So <laughs> I don't know who put it there. I sure as frig didn't. I just put the video up to try and help my friends over at Whittafield who uh, got frigged out by this guy. And luckily I got the license plate and all that too. That's coming up. But uh, I already gave it to my buddy there so he can go to the cops and say, look what this truck did to me on purpose. Here's the video feed of watch him swerve in to get me. Like, watch him drive like an Ursul, you know? And, uh, yeah, so he can go there and he can totally cock over that guy's day. I think it was a rental uh, freaking dumpy, but when you rent a dump truck, you sign off on it, and the company who rented it has all the records of who had it at the time of the incident, and I have all the time indexes of the incident and the original file footage just in case something happens where somebody takes them to court and they need like uncut evidence well i have the uncut evidence so uh, there you go people 
Because, yeah, like I said, my buddy's car, the inside, oh, well, it wasn't, it's not even his car, I don't think. I think it's his dad's car. But uh, the inside of it's wrecked. It, it got completely doused. It was like somebody grabbed a bucket of mud water and just fired inside. So the seats are all soaked. And it, weather like this, the seats are probably popsicles, right? Of course, the people on the truck driving site are hilarious. Like the people on YouTube were like, holy shit, that's illegal. And wow, well, I'd call their, call his boss and like get him in trouble and stuff. And then on the truck Surprise, driving, Surprise, oh motherfucker. Goodness, bud, totally didn't have the right of way. But, um,. Well, that chair is pretty much decked, but people on the truck driving side are like, Oh my god, dude, it's just freaking water, calm your tits, and you're a loser, and blah blah blah, and like just totally like slamming me, because I'm upset that people are getting soaked on a rainy day. Little do they realize, you guys are like, we're not in Florida up here, we're in cold as hell county, freaking North Bay, Ontario, the armpit of the North, just saying. And, uh, it's pretty dicked that uh, they just sit there and be all belligerent. But then again, they probably do it to people, too, and think it's freaking hilarious. And uh, when they get caught on tape, they get all, you know, bitchy about it. And, uh, gotta, no, you're a man, you know, gotta be a man about it. And try and, you know, start some internet fights, because people are goofs. Sometimes people are goofs. A lot of the times, bunch of freaking good, stupid idiot. They get in the fucking face. Bunch of fucking goofs. Bunch of ignorant pricks, that's what they are. They're just ignorant pricks. Oh, I didn't really vape much on my drive here, that's for sure, because of uh, the awesome conditions of uh, the weather and the inability to defrost my windshield while doing a rolling vlog. So I may in the future have to stop doing rolling vlogs until I get this stupid freaking thing fixed and then go from there, but. Anyway, people, I'm shutting her down here. I'm at work, so that's pretty awesome, about 60 frames per second. Yes, this camera can shoot 50 frames per second video. Unfortunately, the memory card can't keep up, and I don't feel like shelling out 200 bucks for a memory card that can keep up with this thing's large bit rate at 60 frames per second. So, I wish I had my other camera that had the built-in memory. That one was great for 60 FPS shots. But if I do the GoPro setup like, uh, like the SwearNet team uses there, like friggin' uh, Mike Smith uses, and uh, use that for vlogging. I can do 720p 60 FPS all day long. 60 FPS for days, you know? And that'd be freaking awesome probably. That would look pretty great. And uh, GoPro, like the resolution, I'm pretty awesome. I think it's an eight megapixel camera. So I'm like, this is only a 1.5 megapixel camera. So theoretically, this thing's not even doing 1080p. It's doing like maybe 800, maybe 900p. No, it's doing 1080p. Well, it's not really doing 1080p because it doesn't have enough. You need at least to do 1080p, I think uh, we came to the conclusion that you need 1.98 megapixels to do it without interpolation. So this thing interpolates like a, like a sumbitch. But that's why the videos aren't as sharp as they could be and other people have sharper videos and better quality is because the cameras they use are actually 1080p and this one here just tries but fails miserably. That does a bad, doesn't do a bad job. It's all right, I guess. Anyway, I'm shutting her down. Thanks for watching my shit. Uh, don't forget to like, favorite, comment, all that nonsense. And until next time, guys, keep on vlogging.